Yesterday I thought I saw you crossing at the corner light Voices ringing through Royal York Station Run down the stairs um, Thanks for coming to pick me up Sure. So, how are you? I'm not terrible, actually. I'm a little tired, but I'm not terrible. Welcome home, Melanie. Get settled in and we'll go in like an hour. Okay. Let me know if you need anything. Yeah, sure. You've truly outdone yourself. Best present ever. Hey! I won that with my mad ski ball skills. If you don't want the fruits of my labor, then I'll give it to someone who does. Penny, you want it, right? Yeah, I don't really want that. I'll cherish it always. Thank you. Um, people are asking for you. Okay. Let's go out. I'm not exactly in the festive mood. We don't have to go clubbing at the casino or anything. We could just go to the park and smoke a joint. The park? Really? Yeah, really. You've barely said two words to anybody since you got here. And now you want to go to the park? Claire would have been into it. Claire's dead, Melanie. I know that. You think I don't know that? You think I would be here if I didn't know that? No, you wouldn't! You wouldn't visit her when she was sick. When she called and asked after you, not once! When she was sick in the hospital, 
So weak she could barely lift up her head, she said to me, wouldn't it be crazy if Melanie showed up right now with some insane story for us? And I could see how hopeful she was that you would finally show up, but crazy was the right word because you never showed! Yesterday I thought I saw you crossing at the corner line Voices ringing through Royal York Station Run down the stairs It happens often Every time I feel myself unraveling I can tell myself that you've been traveling all this time messed up. I know. I was so scared. I made myself believe you would get better and I would come visit you when you were better. And then you died. I was scared too. I did not think you would die. People die every day. You're not some special snowflake that gets to live a death-free life, Melanie. You're kind of mean as a ghost. You're kind of selfish as a human being. So, what happens now? I don't know. I've never died before. Fun time at the park? The sand is full of turds. It sucks. Speaking of sucking, um, I've been a bit of a dickhead recently. Oh, I hadn't noticed. Yeah, I've been selfish. I do that. Holy shit. And I promise if my friends ever need me like that again, I'll never be that selfish. I'll sign a contract better. Otherwise, I'm going to use my Ouija board to get Claire to haunt you. Please don't. Can you imagine? It'd be like Ghost the Musical. You'd be trapped in a musical adaptation of Ghost. So much singing. The worst. Why did you take that glass swan from Claire's room? I don't really know. I just wanted it. And then you smashed it. Well, I didn't mean to. Things got heated. They did. I might have been a bit of a dickhead myself. It's possible. But you know, maybe that's what keeps us together, our mutual dickheadedness. Huh. So much in common. Oh, anytime I need to, I can say, come to my mind. I can stand for hours at the station or on the stairs. If I don't find you, I just tell myself that you're still traveling. You could be in Paris or in Amsterdam standing.